This module is optional and will not be in the exam. I wanted to share with you a case study to demonstrate the power of Kaizen continuous improvement. This case study relates to a topic that is a personal hobby of mine, cycling. And in this module, I'll explain how Dave Brailsford, a British cycling coach, transformed the sport forever. To start with, let me set the scene. In 2003, British Cycling hire a guy called Dave Brailsford. Up until that point, for the last 100 years, British Cycling had performed very poorly. They had never won a Tour de France, so they decided they needed to change for the better. They brought Brailsford in, as he said he believed in something called the aggregation of marginal gains which he described as 1% improvement in everything you do. So he started by doing the more obvious stuff. They put slightly lighter tyres on the bike. They installed a slightly more ergonomic seat. They had their outdoor riders wear indoor cycling suits outside because they were marginally more aerodynamic and faster. They analysed huge amounts of performance data to better understand each rider's strength and weaknesses. Then they started doing the stuff you wouldn't expect a cycling team to do. They split tested different massage gels to determine which one led to the best muscle recovery. They taught all riders how to properly wash their hands to reduce the risk of spreading colds and flu. They asked each rider to find the most comfortable pillow and mattress to travel with them around from hotel to hotel to ensure they had the same great night's sleep every night when on the Tour de France. He had the inside of the tour bus painted white to detect dust that would gather on the bikes and reduce their performance. He quite simply did every single thing he could to aggregate marginal improvement. These are the 1% improvements that we've already learned about. He set a goal for winning the Tour de France in five years and he ended up being wrong. They won it in two years. And he carried on working with the team, the people that know the processes best, at the Gemba, to come up with ideas and create these marginal gains. By 2012, at the Olympics in London, the British cycling team won 70% of all cycling medals. Let's think back to the power of compounding and the difference between this 1% daily improvement compared with the daily 1% decline. This is exactly what he was doing, focusing on these 1% improvements that compound to make all the difference between winning and losing. This just goes to show the power of continuous improvement and how it can be applied across any industry. Please join me in the next module to learn how continuous improvement, lean and Six Sigma relate to each other and the differences between them.